Beautiful. Okay. Take two. Uh, good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome to the Environment Committee meeting uh, today, uh, Monday, February 14th, 2022. Uh, we are. Good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome to the Environment Committee meeting. Okay, we got to figure out how to mute it all over again. I know it's been a while. Um, and it's uh, we're, we're convening the meeting at 10.04 uh, this morning. Uh, thank you all for uh, joining us. And um, uh, as we say, we're going to need some practice on the uh, Zoom meeting protocols. Uh, mute, please, uh, when not speaking so we don't get the reverb. And um, when you're voting by roll, please say your name and then your vote for the convenience of our committee clerk. And uh, when if you'd like to uh, have a discussion or ask a question, uh, please raise your hand so I can see it. And as I said, we are backing up against a uh, um, uh, time for the Senate to go in. So um, we have uh, to be mindful of the time. Uh, well, numeral two, remarks by the chairs. Um, I will go first and I'll, I'll make it quick. I just want to say um, uh, welcome to all and hopefully we will have a good uh, 2022 session. Um, look, I want to say appreciations to uh, my co-chair, uh, Senator Cohen and uh, the ranking members, Senator Minor and uh, Representative Harding, and especially uh, uh, Representative D'Amico, uh, Mushinsky, uh, Palm, uh, Borer, uh, uh, Representative O'Day, um, and our clerk and our LCO, Brad. I'm just going to keep rattling here. And Chris Calabrese, look, it was a tough time for me at the end of uh, last session. And um, I appreciate everyone's understanding as we went forward. And uh, um, that being said, I'm looking forward to an ambitious uh, year this year. But uh, that being said, it's a short session. So there's only so much that we are going to be able to accomplish. So uh, realize that. Um, so that's it for me. I'd like to uh, turn it over to my Senate co-chair, uh, Senator Cohen. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I appreciate that. Good morning, everyone. It is so good to be back with you all on the Environment Committee, albeit virtually uh, for a little bit longer, I think. Um, we certainly have a lot of work to do this session and, and what will be one of the shortest sessions in history. Uh, but I think we're all ready to tackle some of the, the big issues uh, that are facing us and our environment. You know, specifically in Connecticut, as you all know, uh, we need to continue our considerations around the waste crisis that we face. And I really hope for continued and robust conversation around air quality um, as we're in non-attainment here in Connecticut and not meeting our greenhouse gas goals and look towards uh, continued work on clean water um, as we look at impacts of litter, invasives, herbicides, and chemicals like PFAS. And um, also something I am incredibly passionate about, which is resiliency in the face of storm surges and local flooding and sea level rise. So the list really goes on and on. Uh, many of the things that you see today, we have concepts, first concepts to be raised. And I think these will all provide for important discussion at public hearing and moving forward. Um, so I'm really excited to get to work. Uh, as Representative Gresco said, uh, we have an unusual uh, situation here as we're backed up against a Senate session. Uh, we will be in very shortly. So unfortunately, we won't be leaving attendance open as a result, but um, just happy to be here. Uh, happy Representative Gresco is in chair chairman mode uh, with me along by along my side uh, and thrilled um, at the leadership of this committee and how well we always work together in such a bipartisan manner. Um, and also just want to give a special shout out, which I'm sure, sure my co-chair will do as well to all the fantastic people that keep this uh, committee moving and on track, uh, like uh, our clerk Gaia and our um, attorney Brad and um, all the folks in OLR and uh, OFA. So I'm sure uh, Representative Gresco will get into that. But again, thanks to everybody for being here and looking forward to a great session ahead. Thank you, Senator Cohen. And speaking of Brad, um, did we get him? Gaia, did, is he... Uh hooked up now? I, I be, I'm not sure. I know that I saw him come in and I gave him access. He did text me that, yep, I do see him here. Beautiful, okay. 
I, can we just, yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, and next we'll go to uh, Representative Harding uh, if you, for any comments. I'll just be brief. Uh, look forward to another session and working on the Environment Committee. And um, I know we're up against it with the Senate. So uh, I'll just leave it at that. And uh, good to see you there, uh, Representative Gresko. Thank you, Representative Harding. And uh, um, Senator Minor. I have to say, I was a little upset uh, last week, uh, as were quite a few other people, but um, um, we will we will miss you. But um, uh, please, if you have any comments, sh share them. So in an effort to be sure that you don't miss me too much, too early, um, you know, I, I, um, I think this agenda today does represent a number of interests that are very important in the state of Connecticut. Uh, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that it, it doesn't represent all the interests of people in the state of Connecticut. And so um, I intend to work alongside both of the chairs and the ranking member and the rest of the committee to try and see how much we can get done this year. Uh, the reason the Senate is going in today is uh, really kind of the underpinning of most of my concern about the legislative process. And that is that uh, despite many people in the state of Connecticut not seeing an emergency anymore, we still operate virtually. Uh, we still operate in a segregated way where the public uh, is limited to the first floor of both buildings of the People's House. And so uh, I'm committed to uh, remain engaged, very engaged, and uh, to a spirited debate. And uh, thank you uh, for the time. Uh, thank you, Senator Minor, And then lastly, uh, um, our Vice Chair, uh, Christine Palm, if you have any comments. Just that I'm so pleased, Joe, that you're in good fettle and that we have an ambitious schedule and um, off we go. Looking forward to this year. Thank you, uh, Christina. We're going to move to a Roman numeral three. Uh, and, Representative, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, could we just ask if uh, our Senate Vice Chair, Senator Slap, has any oh, There you go. Hey, Derek. Uh, uh, likewise, you. Derek. Uh, no, I didn't I, see you on the list. No, Wait. no problem. No, I, I don't. Happy to get to it. Thanks for uh, your leadership. Appreciate it. Thanks for the uh, heads up there, uh, Senator Cohen, and uh, my apologies, Senator Slap. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna go to Roman numeral three. Um, I will entertain a motion to uh, draft items one through eight and items 10 through 13 uh, with the understanding that uh, we can ask questions um, once uh, the motion is made and uh, seconded. So moved, so moved. Chairman. Second. Uh, uh, that was uh, uh, moved by Mary Mashinsky and seconded by Jack Hennessy. Um, are there any questions or discussions on items one through eight or and items uh, and or items 10 through 13? Yeah. If I may, Mr. Chair, very briefly. Representative so, Harding. Yes, thank you. So just um, as I mentioned in, in, in every meeting where we draft, draft concepts, I just want to, you know, um, reiterate the fact that, as we all know, these are just concepts. Um, this is not, no way a vote to support any of these concepts. This is simply a vote to have a discussion. The bills haven't even been drafted on these concepts as of yet. So um, this is all we're voting on today. There are a number of things that we're voting on in this current uh, uh, group of uh, bills here that, that I, I know I have concerns with. I know some of my colleagues do. Um, yet uh, there's a there's a longstanding tradition in this building to allow um, for a discussion at the least. Um, and so um, the, a vote for these concepts today, again, it's not a vote necessarily for the bill itself, but simply a vote to have a discussion. Um, I just, just wanted to mention that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Representative Harding. Uh, Representative Michelle. Thank you, Mr. Chair. With that in mind, I just wanted to have just a little bit more information on number two. Uh, the protection of certain fish species of the intent, and that's it. Okay, uh, uh, thank you, Representative Michelle. This would uh, is a suggestion by um, 
Audubon, uh, Connecticut, and it's also a, tip, a uh, topic that's being discussed at the federal level as well. And it would be to uh, limit uh, the possession of certain forage fish. We're talking um, the silver sides and the uh, bay anchovy and some uh, sand eels uh, to prevent the proliferation of, of an industrial uh, fishery while still allowing for the traditional uh, bait harvest activity to, to continue. So that's uh, where we're going with that. And as Representative Harding was saying, it will have uh, plenty of discussion. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Seeing no other hands raised, uh, will the clerk uh, please call the roll for the, uh, um, uh, for the motion to draft items one through eight? and items 10 through 13. Um, yes, uh, so are we doing a roll call? Or are we doing a voice vote? I just- I would, I would have no objection to a voice vote if the, the chairs do not have an objection. Senator Minor, I'd be all right with the voice vote. Beautiful. Uh, so all in favor of uh, drafting items one through eight and items 10 through 13, please signify by saying aye. 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 And aye. the chair aye. votes aye. Uh, anyone opposed? I don't hear any opposition, so it passes uh, unanimous. Uh, now I'd like to entertain um, a motion to take item number nine and, uh, and uh, draft it. Um, okay. Uh, the motion made by uh, Representative Michelle. Can I get a second? Second. Second, second by Representative uh, Hennessy. Uh, is there any discussion on this bill? There was a request <laughs> that it be taken separately uh, to allow for some discussion and uh, potential uh, flagging. So uh, Representative Fishbein, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Very nice to see you on a bright sun uh, Monday morning. Um, you know, Mr. Chairman, we are coming out of a pandemic, and this bill, this initiative, um, I think is adverse to business interests, and I think that we have to signify, or at least to signal to our business community that we are open for business and that we are going to try and not spend this legislative session um, hammering on businesses. This is something that I understand uh, certain industries are taking on themselves uh, voluntarily. I would have those businesses and those industries take this on voluntarily instead of the heavy hand of government uh, coming in to make those decisions for it. So with that, um, I, I intend to vote in opposition. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative Fishbein. Uh, Senator Cohen. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. And in response to that, I would just hope that this committee uh, would do its due diligence in recognizing the hardships that our small businesses have faced and really striking that balance between environmental considerations and working with our business community. As a small business owner and restaurant owner myself, I know what these hardships have been like. I know how difficult it has been to stay in business throughout this pandemic. And so that should certainly come in consideration as we work through this bill, work through the language, work through the dates at which uh, a possible ban could be put in place. But this is just a concept at this point uh, in the hopes that the committee in drafting language for this bill can work both with the State Department of Education as well as our business community at large uh, to implement appropriate and meaningful language uh, as we move forward. Thanks so much, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Senator Cohen. Uh, anyone else with any questions or uh, some discussion? I don't see any other hands raised. So would the uh, committee clerk please call the roll for the, uh, uh, on the motion to draft item number nine as... Uh, well, uh, Your Honor, uh, I mean, Your Honor, I'm used to being in the courtroom. I got to get back <laughs> in with this. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Mr. Uh, Chair, I, I think we could have a voice vote. I, I don't have any objection to that. Senator Minor. Well, I, uh, I'm not sure of how, how the rules work with a voice vote, knowing that there is some opposition and an interest to try and flag the bill. I guess uh, to the only person that, to the individual that pointed out 
uh, an interest in trying to cast a vote other than yay, I think. Um, I'd like to know how he feels or anybody else that would be in opposition to the bill. I would like the roll call vote, if I may. So be it. Uh, with the uh, committee clerk, please call the roll for the uh, item, Roman numeral two, to draft uh, item number nine, um, please. Item number nine, an act concerning the use of expanded polystyrene, poly, polystyrene products. Senator Cohen. Senator Cohen votes yes. Representative Gresco. Representative Gresco votes yes. Senator Slap. Senator Slap votes yes. Representative Palm. Palm votes yes. Representative Palm, would you say that one more time just so I can get you on the camera? Yes, Representative Palm votes yes. Thank you. Senator Minor. Yes. Representative Harding. Harding, yes. Representative Harding, would you mind voting, saying that one more time so I can see you on Harding, the camera? Harding, yes. Thank you. And Representative uh, Berger Javalio. Representative Berger Javalio votes yes. Thank you, Representative. Representative Betts. Representative Callahan. Representative Callahan votes yes. Representative Chafee. Representative Chafee votes yes. Representative D'Amico. Representative D'Amico votes yes. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. And good morning. <laughs> good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Representative, du Representative Dubitsky. Representative Fishbein. Representative Fishbein votes no. Representative Gucker. Representative Gucker votes yes. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes yes. I'm sorry, Representative, would you mind saying that one more time so I can get you on camera? Representative Harrison votes yes. Thank you. Uh, Senator Haskell? Senator Haskell votes yes. Thank you. Representative Hennessy? Representative Hennessy votes yes. Representative Horn? Representative Horn votes yes. Senator Kushner? Senator Kushner votes yes. Representative Michelle? Representative Michelle votes yes. Representative Mashinsky? Rep Mashinsky votes yes. Representative O'Day? Rep O'Day votes yes. Representative Paris? Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Parker? Representative Parker votes yes. Representative Piscopo? Representative Piscopo votes no. Representative Rabimbis? Representative Rabimbis votes yes. Representative Reyes? Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Representative Ryan? Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Smith? Representative Smith votes yes. Representative Wilson? Representative Wilson votes no. Representative Young? Representative Young votes yes. Just one more time, Representative Young. Rep Young votes yes. Thank you. And that concludes the vote, Chairman. Uh, thank you, Gaia. Can you um, um, announce the tally, please? Oh, I apologize. <laughs> We have 29 yes and 32. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I apologize. Twenty-seven yes, three nays. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the item will be drafted. Uh, let's move on to uh, item number four, um, uh, Roman numeral four. Uh, and just a reminder, um, Gaia will stay on this Zoom meeting um, link 
until the start of the Senate session, which will not give you much time to have the votes held open. So um, if there's anyone that you know that hasn't voted uh, and you wanna give them a shout out to try to get, uh, get the vote in, that's uh, fine. But as soon as the Senate session begins, uh, the votes will be closed. Um, uh, announcement of time and date of our next meeting. Uh, we are set for uh, Friday, this Friday, the 18th at 10 a.m. And Senator Minor. Well, I just want to try and clear up. Maybe it's just my confusion. I thought the chairs made an announcement at the beginning. The votes would not be left open. Now it's like the chairs are making a different decision. Um, in the in the I in the effort to get people the ability to vote, I'd be willing to leave the votes open until the start of the Senate, which technically would be for five minutes. Um, but um, um, uh, we can we can we can wrap things up here if if there's no objection. Now, I just wanted to make sure that I heard you correctly the first time and. I don't have an objection. Thank you. Anyone else with the, uh, an objection of um, keeping the votes open until the start of the Senate session? Mm -hmm. Representative D'Amico. Yeah, Mr. Chair, I, I think I'm pretty sure that uh, Senator Minor did hear you correctly at the beginning, but and I don't have any objection, but but I do have a procedural concern. I think that once the tally is announced, I don't believe you're allowed to keep the votes open at that point. I could be wrong, but I will defer to our LCO for that one. But I'm just I'm just offering that as a as a uh, as, as an inquiry. Well, I, I might have cut my own throat there, but um, um, Brad. That's correct. Once the votes have been announced, uh, they, they can no longer be open. Oh, so well, there you go. We'll know that for next time. So uh, there, there you go. Uh, um, I will now then uh, entertain a motion for an adjournment. So moved. Second. Moved by Representative Hen Hennessy, seconded by Rep. Michelle. Representative Michelle, thank you all uh, for your in indulgence with our time constraints, and uh, we will see you on Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you.